Hello, our friends, we continue our on-table Bible for all who want to lose weight. Please, don't forget to subscribe if you first time on our channel, advise us to your friends, we don't sell any products, we want to be useful for people. We try to make two videos per day. And if you put on the ring bell you will never miss a new vlog. Subscribe friends. For you it not hard, but it's very motivating to work a lot. So we are beginning. Today we have huge material. If we all had our way, we would eat and eat and never get fat. But alas. That doesn't happen. As we age, our metabolism gets slower and we tend to put on weight. All of us aspire for a great looking body. While exercising plays a crucial role in weight loss, we need to follow a good diet chart too. A balanced diet chart for weight loss can be very impactful as it contains all the necessary food groups required for healthy sustenance. 1. What is a balanced diet? A balanced diet needs to contain foods from all the main food groups in the correct proportions to provide the body with optimum nutrition. It should also be made up of the correct number of calories to maintain a healthy weight and be low in processed foods. Every person is different and hence the correct diet for health may vary from person to person, however by following a diet that is varied, covers healthy foods groups and is low in undesirable nutrients such as sodium, saturated fats, and sugar, you are well on your way to lose weight significantly. 2. What is a balanced diet chart? A balanced diet chart is a representation of a healthy diet chart that comprises of all the required nutrients. It includes all the food groups and ensures that we are getting everything that our body needs through our diet. It is a guideline that gives us the right food choices for optimal health. 3. What is the importance of a balanced diet? Nutrition is vital for your body and all of its systems to function properly, by having good nutrition it will help you maintain a healthy weight, reduce body fat, provide your body with energy, promote good sleep and generally make you feel better. By having good nutrition it has been proven that you are less likely to develop many of the present-day diseases including obesity. Rising levels of obesity and diabetes in America are prime examples of the effects of a poor diet and a lack of exercise. 4. What is the perfect balanced diet chart for proper weight loss? If you are overweight or obese, you have to follow a diet chart for weight loss along with your workout regimen and stick to it. A healthy diet chart helps you regulate your calorie intake. By specifying your activities and calorie intake during the day, the list gives you a good idea of what you must eat to be on track. Following is an example of a general diet chart for weight loss that will help you get started right away. However, you can create a diet chart including other healthy and fiber-rich foods you like that are low in fat and calories. Make sure, you actually follow the diet chart as you intend to follow to achieve your goals. Early morning, 6.30 to 8 a.m. Start your day with exercises. After your workout, add a cup of tea or coffee made from low-fat skimmed milk. You can have a couple of fiber-rich biscuits with it. Preferably, start your day with a small bowl of cereals. Brunch 10.30 to 11.30 a.m. Weight loss doesn't have to come from hunger. Instead, it is best to eat something healthy at quick intervals. Before you feel hungry for your lunch, treat yourself to fresh fruit such as an apple or orange. Keep shuffling your fruit during the week so that you get all the minerals and vitamins during the week. Lunch 1 o'clock to 2 p.m. Eat a healthy but light lunch that is low in fat and calories. You can also drink a glass of water around 20 minutes before lunch. It will reduce your hunger and keep you from overeating. Evening, 4 o'clock to 6 p.m. You can have a cup of tea or coffee along with healthy snacks. However, make sure you avoid sodas and sugary beverages that may appear tempting at this time of the day. Dinner, 7 o'clock to 8 p.m. Drink a glass of water around 15 minutes before you intend to have your dinner. Now it's time for a light and healthy meal that is full of nutritional content. You can mention different low-calorie dishes for dinner on different days of the week. Post dinner 10 o'clock to 10.30 p.m. A couple of slices of fresh fruit like apple or papaya. You can switch your fruits daily. 5. How to make meal plans for weight loss. 
Creating a meal plan can make your approach to the weight loss goal a lot easier. Besides, a specific meal plan for weight loss helps improve your overall nutrition and avoid diet pitfalls. Meal planning is easier than you think. In a few easy steps, you can create a meal plan that will work for you. This is all about planning your meals and sticking to it. The meal plan encompasses breakfast, lunch, and dinner, in addition to two, three snacks in between meals. Eating more is counterproductive, therefore, you must eat in small portions. Breakfast. Ensure that your breakfast includes some carbohydrates for energy. This becomes more important if you are combining your diet with an exercise regimen. Any complete protein can work well in the morning. Ideally, whole wheat choices should be a part of the first meal of the day. Or, include an omelette in your breakfast. Breakfast also needs to include calcium, strong bones support strong muscles. Have a small glass of skimmed milk or 3 to 4 spoons of yogurt. Nuts make for a good burst of energy, another excellent food choice to start the day with. Lunch. Include a protein choice for lunch. Chicken breast, tuna fish, or a tofu burger, along with some fruits. A mixed vegetable salad with shredded cheese for lunch is one way you can swap high calorie with empty calorie foods. Dinner. Have a lighter meal for dinner since you don't need to use up all the calories. It is better if it is a protein choice, a light whole wheat option, some fruits, and a salad. Snacks in between meals. Keeping healthy snacks on hand will help you with your weight loss goals. Figure out if you have provided for enough servings of each food group. Look over your plan for the day and make sure you have snacks that will help you do it. There are several healthy snacking options, these include sliced tomato, banana, nuts, strawberries, cheese snacks, raspberries, frozen peas, corn, oatmeal, soy products, milk products, and more. When you have snacking options with you, you are more likely to avoid the temptations of unhealthy foods or foods that don't contribute to your goal. 6. What are the essential elements of your daily diet? You need to understand that starving or skipping meals have never been a solution for weight loss. Have a healthy balance of foods each day. These are the elements that you should incorporate into your diet daily. 2 cups of fruit and 3 to 4 cups of vegetables. 5 to 8 ounces of grain, a half from whole grains. 3 cups of non-fat or low-fat dairy foods. 5 to 7 ounces of protein, meat, beans, and seafood each day. No more than 5 to 7 teaspoons of oils, mostly from plants, fish, and nuts. 121 calories from solid fats and added sugars. Here now the example of idle meal ingredients for weight loss. Sometimes during your weight loss journey, you will get confused as to what to eat and what not to eat. Lacking in this basic information will make you feel frustrated and weak in your resolve. We are providing you basic food items for your weight loss diet plan. You can plan your own meal chart by incorporating them into your diet. For breakfast. 1. Raspberries 2. Oatmeal 3. Yogurt 4. Peanut butter 5. Eggs 6. Smoothies. For lunch. 1. Wheat 2. Ground turkey breast 3. Chicken sandwich 4. Avocado salad with low-fat dressing 5. Tuna sandwich 6. Tofu 7. Salmon 8 beans 9, vegetable soup 10, mixed veggies. For dinner. 1. Greek yogurt. 2. Cherries. 3. Peanut butter on whole grain bread. 4. Protein shake. 5. Cottage cheese. 6. Turkey. 7. Banana 8, salad greens 9, brown rice 10, chicken 11, seafood. Snacks. 1. Nuts 2. Grapefruit 3, chickpeas 4, popcorn 5, hummus 6, berries 7, grapes 8, a piece of cheese 9, dark chocolate. 8. How to make healthy food choices in your busy life. You'll be pleased to discover that a hectic life doesn't mean that every meal has to be fast food on the run. Sometimes it's difficult to make healthy changes, but with a little planning and know-how, it can be done. Here are some strategies to help you and your family make healthy choices. 1. Avoid temptation. It's so easy to walk into the store with good intent but walk out with bags full of unhealthy foods. Unfortunately, our wills are weak. Here are a few ways to avoid temptation. Never shop when you're hungry. 
This way you won't pick out unhealthy choices because they look good at the moment. Get rid of the unhealthy foods in your home. If they aren't around, you won't be tempted to eat them. Think of healthier alternatives to your family's favorite unhealthy foods. 2. Eat fast and healthy meals at home. When you're tired at the end of the day and you realize you still have to feed the family, it's easy to go to a fast food chain and throw unhealthy food on the table. Well, this needs to change. The great thing is that there are many easy, fast, and healthy foods you can make at home. This takes some planning, but you'll be more satisfied, save money, and be healthier as well. Look online for quick and easy recipes made with all natural ingredients. Many recipes can be made in 30 minutes or less and only have 5 ingredients. Taking the time to do some recipe research will save your sanity in the long run. 3. When you cook, make large batches and freeze the leftovers. This way, you'll already have meals in the freezer that you can just thaw, heat, and serve. No muss, no fuss. This is the opportune way to enjoy fast food at home. 4. Eat slower. Since the brain takes about 20 minutes to get the signal that the stomach is full, if you eat too fast you'll pack in a lot more food than you need. Set a calming mood before sitting down for a meal. Avoid having the television on or eating as you're rushing the kids out the door to another activity. If you slow down while you're eating, you'll eat less and you'll still feel full. 5. Make dinner time a social experience. When you begin to look at mealtime as a social experience, it becomes easier to make the right choices about healthy foods. Suddenly you aren't so worried about rushing through and making it quick. 9 Top Reasons Why Your Diet Plan For Weight Loss Isn't Working When you've been abstaining and exercising for months and the weighing scale needle still won't budge, it's the most frustrating thing. Here are the mistakes of weight watchers make when trying to get into their college size. Check if you are making any of them. 1. You fear food. Most people who diet, fear food. Whenever they are at the table for a meal, they are reluctant to fill the plate with sufficient food. Later, they end up compensating with a sweet. Almost 90% of dieters fall into this trap. Carbohydrates are your body energy givers. You need them to survive. Carbohydrates should account for 65% of your plate's composition. If you don't, you end up craving them and end up consuming them in a negative form. 2. You are making it large. Large meals and long gaps between them are no good. Your body cannot utilize more than 300 to 400 calories at a time so, keep the intake small. Don't leave more than a 2-hour gap between meals. How much you eat depends on how active your day is. 3. You're not getting enough water. Most people don't drink enough water and get on with a high-protein diet. They don't realize that water plays a major role in metabolizing protein. We need anywhere between 3 to 5 liters a day. Timing also needs to be perfect. Water should ideally be consumed 20 minutes before or after a meal. Combining water and food leads to water retention, increasing belly fat. 4. You believe you're dieting. It seems counterintuitive, but believing you are on a diet may actually cause more harm. When we think we are on a diet, we avoid certain foods and end up deprived. This leads to constant craving, leaving us more vulnerable to cheating. Instead, you should switch to the idea of turning back quote healthy, and consider weight loss as a benefit of this new lifestyle. 5. You don't plan enough. Several Weight Watchers venture into a diet without considering the little obstacles they will face when, say, eating out. As a result, you end up compromising and are ridden with guilt later. Carry small portions of healthy snacks to avoid eating junk on the go. This will help you to not go overboard on over-the-counter backquote diet foods. So there you have it. If you're guilty of one of the above-mentioned points, it might be time to start making some changes in your eating habits. 10. What are the benefits of following a diet chart? There are so many healthy eating advantages even beyond weight loss, however. Take a look at some of the biggest advantages of following a diet chart below. 1. Prevent excessive cravings for sweets and other unhealthy foods. 2. You will enjoy good health, not just lose weight. 3. Makes your weight loss program virtually effortless. 4. Provides you a lasting result instead of a quick fix. 
5. Gives more energy. 6. Encourages regular meals a day. 7. Aid effective meal planning. 8. Improve the healthiness of foods kept in the house. 9. Help people cope better with barriers, difficult situations. 10. Make diary keeping easier, and people who keep daily food diaries can lose twice as much weight as those who don't. 11. Aid portion control. 12. Help keeps meals healthily balanced but reduced in calories to promote weight loss. 13. Enable flexibility within the structure, you can build in some favorite foods and meals out to stay satisfied and in control. My own conclusion. With busy lives and the food-filled environment we live in, planning ahead to have the right food choices to hand at the right times can help us to stay on track and achieve our goals. I am sure you can take success in it with these rules. See you in the next part, and please, if you think that our material is useful, subscribe to our channel. I hug you a lot.